my name is Hannah and I'm an artist at Studio Name in Leicester. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own miniature pop-out art gallery, just like this one, complete with its very own painting gallery, an installation and even a miniature sculpture gallery. So this is um, an extension to a video I've I did previously which you can find on the studio name YouTube channel titled artist books um, this is a form of art book an artist book is somewhere between a book and a work of art um, it's like a book because it's often um, folds away and has pages but it's closer to a work of art because it can be literally anything so it can have words in pictures in be abstract it can be anything I highly recommend doing a little bit of research on the internet about artist books. Um, this is a technique where you fold card or paper and then you decorate it however you like. And I've chosen to make it into a miniature art gallery. Um, particularly whilst we're in lockdown, um, I've really missed being able to go to galleries and see inspiring artwork made by other artists. Um, so I have brought a miniature gallery to me here at home and it folds away. For your miniature art gallery, you will need some card. I've got some white A4 card, but you could also use coloured card and you could use bigger card, smaller card, whatever you would like. If you're using recycled materials, you will need to collect some old magazines, um, all the kind of free magazines that come through the door is junk mail, um, any kind of advertising, um, old envelopes, um, old pieces of paper from the back of letters and I'll show you how to use that if you're using recycled materials. You will need a pair of scissors, a prit stick or double sided sticky tape. And then for decorating, this is really up to you but I'm going to use some watercolour, paints, I've got some marker pens, uh, you might want to do some collage with tissue paper but watch the video through and then have a think how you would like to decorate it because you could use literally anything. And then for finishing touches I've got some ribbon but you could use some string um, and I've also got some um, paper clips as well because those are going to be really useful when you've finished your miniature art gallery. To begin making your miniature art gallery, we need to turn your pieces of card into square sheets of card. So as I explained at the beginning, it's another kind of um, art book or artist book and it's a paper folding technique um, which I'm turning into a miniature art gallery. So to start with, I'm going to take one corner of my card and I'm going to fold it to make a triangle. So when I fold it, I'm matching up this side with this side and it's going to make a triangle shape like that. Press down quite firmly. This is quite a thick card actually. You might have some thinner card. And then what I'm going to do is cut this rectangle off because we don't need that. Now I have a square piece of card. I'm going to repeat that process on three more sheets of card. You will need four sheets of card for your art gallery. Now I have four pieces of square card. So before I move on to showing you how to fold your card, I'm going to show you what it looks like if you're using recycled materials because you might not have any card or you might prefer to use recycled materials. So what I've done is I have got um, old magazines or old um, leaflets that come through, you know, as junk mail. And because card is thicker than paper, I have used three sheets of um, magazine pages and I've stuck them together. You can probably see that like that. And then I don't want to have all the writing and the pictures. So to cover that up, I collected um, 
letters and envelopes and I've stuck them over the top of the pictures. So you can still just about see the writing coming through um, but it just shows you that you can use recycled materials if you want. And then I've done the same thing and I've turned it into a square shape as well. So it was rectangular and I've put it down into a square shape. So we'll just put those to one side for now. Right then, so to make the folded paper art gallery, I'm going to start with this sheet. So at the moment we've got a fold going diagonally across the middle and we need to get another fold going the other way. So I'm going to take this point and fold it over to this point. Press it down nice and firmly and you can smooth it with your thumb and then you unfold it and you will have a cross going diagonally across your square card. Now we're going to fold it in half but instead of diagonally we're folding it in half this way. Like that. Press it down. And we're going to repeat that but the other way. So I spin my card round and I fold it the other way. Just like that. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We are going to make a little cut down one of the straight lines, not the diagonal lines, one of the straight lines. And I'm going to cut from here into the centre but I'm not going to go further and I'm only going to make one cut. doesn't matter which cross piece as long as it's the ones that are going across that way and not diagonally from corner to corner. Into the middle like that and then this is what your card will look like. I have two flaps just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick this flap to this flap. So we'll need our prick stick and I'm going to put quite a lot of Frit Stick on because you want to make sure that it sticks well. And I'm going to fold it over to meet that line just there. Press it down. And that is the first room in our art gallery. So the next stage is we want this bit to fold inwards. So this is the bit that we've just folded over and stuck down. We want it to fold inwards because as you saw at the beginning, it folds down like a book. So this can be a little bit tricky, but what we want is this diagonal line going down here to fold inwards. So what I do is I press on the back with my thumbs and I push it in. Sometimes you need to push down in the corner with your finger. It can be quite tricky, you might go wrong the first time, but that doesn't matter. You just do it again until you get it right. Squash it down. And there you go. So now we're gonna repeat that on our other three pieces of card. So now we have our four pieces folded like that, we need to stick them together. And it doesn't matter which order it goes in, obviously if you're using coloured cards you might have a particular order. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one of these sides to this side. 
So I'm going to put glue all over one side of my card. Now you need to be really careful at this stage that they are the right way up because so you want your your fold to be pointing upwards like this because it won't work if you accidentally flip it round. So you need to make sure that when you stick your two pieces of card together that they look exactly the same so their folds are going exactly the same way. So I've put glue all over that side and I'm going to stick it to that. Give it a good squash down because you really want it to stick. Press it down. When I get my other one I'm going to stick it on to this side. And there we go, it is simple as that. So now that all my four sheets are stuck together, when I fold the card out, so it's actually unsticking now, so you probably need to leave it to dry to make sure it's nice and stuck down. So before I show you the last section, I'm gonna leave it to dry. So now we've come to the really exciting part, decorating and filling up our art gallery. Obviously you can do anything. It would be really nice um, as a house. So each room you could do differently with windows and rugs and furniture, um, but it could also just be abstract because um, it is essentially just an artist book. So you could have abstract patterns um, or you could start writing a story. It's completely up to you. But I decided I really love the idea of a little pop-up art gallery. So in each room, I'm going to do a different art form. Um, I'm going to be using some watercolour, some um, felt-tip pens, um, I've got some coloured scraps of card, I've also got some um, cereal packets because they make really good can mini canvases for my mini paintings. It doesn't matter which um, room you start in. I'm going to start in this one. So I'm going to start by making some miniature paintings. So I've got a few over here that I've started. So I've been using um, old cereal packets um, just because the card is really thick and durable um, and it's quite nice to make a nice um, thickness for your mini canvases. So I decided my first room is going to be traditional paintings. Um, so I have made a tiny little gold frame. Um, and this one I've already done a little mini landscape with a painting and some flowers and I need to finish my other two paintings. second room of my art gallery I want to do something called an installation. So an installation is um, a type of artwork which usually fills a whole room which you can walk in and around um, and it's quite often quite sculptural. Um, so there's an artist which is uh, one of my favourites called Yayoi Kasama, she's a Japanese artist and she loves polka dots and she fills whole rooms with spotty everything all over the walls all over the floors everything so i'm going to do a little um homage to yayo kasama in my second room move on to my final two rooms in my art gallery now that my paintings are dry i'm just going to stick them in so you can see what they look like so you can either stick them in with pritt stick and then that's it that's where they're going to stay but if you think you might want to move your paintings around every time you open up your little book your little gallery book um, then a little thing that you can do is using masking tape, I've got sellotape, but you can use masking tape or sellotape, or even better, blue tack. 
So instead of sticking it permanently, you could just put a little bit of blue tack on the back of your little mini paintings. And what that means is you can move it around. I'm just gonna use a little bit of sellotape rolled around so it's sticky on both sides. And I'm gonna put my first painting up. So the wonderful thing about using blue tack or sellotape will mean that every time you come back to open your mini art gallery, you can change the layout, you can do something called curating. So a curator is somebody who decides where all the artwork goes in an art gallery and how it looks. So you can be a curator of your art gallery every time you open up your art book and you can change the layout. For my next room in my mini art gallery, I'm going to do some paintings again, but I'm going to make them look more um, abstract and modern art. So I'm going to get my um, old um, cereal packets and cut them down into mini canvases, just as I did before. So whilst my other paintings are drying, I'm going to start on my fourth and final room in my gallery. So I'm gonna try and do some tiny little sculptures. So this will be my sculpture room. Um, and the way that I'm gonna try doing that is obviously because it is um, a fold away um, book, it needs to be able to fold down. Um, I've just got some scrap bits of card here, colourful card, so I'm going to try and make a colourful pop-up sculpture for this room. So to start with, I have got just four really simple shapes. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, um, it's a bit of an experiment. So what I'm going to do is fold a little bit of the bottom to create a flap because that's what I'm going to stick to the floor of my art gallery. So obviously we want it to be able to fold away. So I'm not going to put my sculpture across the fold because then when I try and fold it, that's going to fold the sculpture and squash it. So it does mean that my sculptures have to go either side of this fold down the middle. I'm going to put some glue on there. Oops. You could always um, put little blobs of blue tack and have them separately. So every time you pop it out, you have your sculptures separately and then you bring them in and arrange them. Um, but I want to try having them as permanent features. Okay, so my little paintings are dry now. So they're ready to go into this um, room in my art gallery. So I'm gonna use um, my sellotape again so that if I wanna rearrange them next time, I can do. So I have gone for like abstract um, paintings for this room. This is a really great opportunity to do some research into different artists. Um, do little miniature versions of your favourite artist's work. So to add a little finishing touch to your um, 
art book or your mini art gallery. Um, I have been using a paper clip to hold the book open. So actually it's staying open quite well on its own. I think that's just because I've been, it's been like that for quite a while. But you will notice when you first make it, it doesn't like to stay open. So if it's been folded away like this for quite a long time, when you want to open it up, it won't open fully and stay open. So you can just use a little paper clip when you open it out like this to secure your book in place. And then the other thing that you might want to do is when it's closed, in a way like this, you might want to have a little ribbon to tie it up. Thank you so much for joining me today to make my mini art gallery. Um, don't forget to share your own creations on the um, Studio Name Facebook group um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye.